And there we go. We're in. Okay, so it's still pretty good weather outside. It's very cozy, it's very warm. It's not too warm, it's not too cold, so it's kinda nice. So yeah, I'm heading for a little walk. Um, I'm technically heading down towards the train station. You can probably see behind here, there's the, the electrical part of the railroad. So it's heading down there to the old station. It's a nice town, and it shows a perfect day to do this, actually. There's just like one tiny little cloud up here. You can't even see it on the camera. There's like no clouds that way. Okay, well, there's a tiny one there. If you can even see that, and then there's some airplane markings. It's not that bad. Oh, there's a kitty cage. Have you seen this before? People add them to their balconies so that their kitties be like getting fresh air and be allowed to go out. It's kind of neat. It's kind of cute. Okay, as you can see, here's the Furls Railroad and uh, point or split or whatever we're gonna call it. I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. There's my shadow. Hello. Just bear with me a little. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of walking. Oh, sorry for the sun. I'm not sure how the lightning affects. I'll keep my head in the way if I can. There we go. Almost. See, I'm not sure how the effects of everything will be. So yeah, bear with me, there's a lot of walking. It's a kind of, um, it's not a big place, but it's big spatially. So the, the town itself is kind of wide, and kind of takes a while to get through it. So there's a lot of walking for me to do. There's the church. There's a train arriving. See, perfect time. What you have there is one of the main convenience stores in this town. It's called Coop. Okay, what you can see here, this is the like town hall or village hall or town center or whatever you want to call it. Oh jeez, okay, we're going on this road. So, uh, two things. We're gonna find like the people's park. Uh, there's also an old outdoor swimming house here I'm gonna show you. Okay, so here's like a little stream or uh, whatever you want to call it, a little short amount of water. It runs not through the city, not through the town, pretty close. So yeah, it goes around here, it's just, a it's just a little thingy. It goes from a little pond further up on the People's Park, I'm going to show you soon. There you also have the swimming house. It's all fun stuff to keep uh, evening swimmers and night swimmers away, because there's no staff. There's no night lifeguards and stuff like that, so that's why they're not allowed to be in here during the night. Uh, yeah. If you remember, I used to work as a swimming guard as well. Uh, one of the people I worked with had worked on this swimming house before, so they, she explicitly explained the rules on how it works over here. So it's still too, uh, too cold for the bath houses to open, so it's gonna be just a little while longer. But when I do, there will be a lot of people here, because people love going here. I don't know why, but some people just love to go swim outside in these little pool areas. Okay, so that there is like the jumping towers for the pool, so it's just on the other side of this little building here. It's a duck race. They're catching up. No, they're not. They're lacking behind. Oh, poor ducks. So yeah, here's a little crossing. People usually jump across here. We're brave hearted. I'm not gonna do that today. We're going uh, on the other way anyway. So yeah, here's the river. It comes from the lake, or well, not the lake, but the small little, the bigger pond that we're gonna see up here. So here's the little bigger bridge. We're getting closer to the pond that's right here. Uh, there might be a lot of like grass on the sides of it, so I'm not sure how much I can show without my camera blocking. Yeah. Seems to be fish in the water. See, there's a little island in the middle. There's also a house there for the ducks. So here's the pond. There's a lot of ducks in there. And some fish or something. I'm on the bridge now. So yeah, fish is bigger. And then there's the pond. It's nothing spectacular, it's just a little pond. So, want to record it anyway. Okay, we're gonna head that way down and we're gonna head back down there to the square. We're just gonna go to that grass field and then follow the road and down to the square. So yeah, I don't know much about this pond. It means just a pond right here. There seems to be a lot of ducks and I think you can people like fish from this bridge sometimes. I've at least seen some people once uh, I was going on my bike here. Uh, yeah, because ages ago I used to intern in another uh, swimming house that's way down over behind there where I'm pointing. Uh, if you go by this road under like a little a little bridge whatever and you keep going left and you keep going straight for a long while about an hour on bike 
if you keep going there real far, you'll end up in another outdoor, like another outdoor swimming pool. Just like, sort, sort of like the one I just showed you. So yeah, uh, that one was owned by another Manipacity or Manipacity, another, 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 was owned by another town or whatever you're gonna call it. We're all half communist here, so we're just gonna call it like, yeah, it's called Commune, Manipacity or Manip, something like that, I can't pronounce it. This word, yeah, so it's owned by another one of those called Huebu, where I worked before, so, so yeah, let's head on to the square and then by the station again. That's pretty much all I want to show. There's not much more interesting. Maybe there is, but then you need to go a little further. And since I don't have a car or a bike, and I can't really go to those places. So we're gonna stay in here for now, and I'm gonna record the square. All right, so I'll see you there. See, so yeah, there's a veterinary and a dentist and something that I don't know what that is. There's the bath, so we're heading backwards. Yeah, it's nice and shiny. Oh, it starts to smell good. We're getting close to the bakery. There's one like bakery here that's kind of popular with everyone who lives in the city or town or village. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that when we get closer, as we will soon enough. Okay, here's the bakery. It's a, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's cozy and small and they apparently make delicious bread. I don't really remember what any of that tastes like. I'm sure my mom must have been here buying bread. I think I've even been here myself to get bread and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's like small and cute. So yeah, it's a tiny little bakery. They have a lot of cafe. There's like a small cafe as well. As you can see, you can see it in there. It's very cute and nice. You can get your breakfast or whatever you wanna. Yeah, as you can see here by the sign, there's like the, the police and the people's park with the bath logo. It's all down that road if you take that way around. And then there's like the town center or village. Village hall or town hall is down that way. Okay, and we're heading down here. There's a convenience store again on the other side. And that thing over here is the library. People's Yale Library. It's really cool. I've been here a few times, been reading books and stuff as well. So it's cute. It's so cute. This sun is basically cute. And there's an art school down here. Yeah, like a art school, of course. Of course, of course. Oh, I'm getting, getting a little warm. I've been walking a while. So yeah, here's the library or cultural house as they like to call it. They do other stuff than borrow books. There's like dance and classes and all creative stuff in here. So it's a mixture of everything. There's the town center. There's a little fountain thingy, or no, no, no there's a little ornament thingy, a statue. It's usually a fountain when the water is on. There's a lot of cars, as always. Recorded, messing up my recording. Okay, now I'm just worried. The cross is all tilted, tilted towers. I don't fucking know. Okay, we're heading down the, here's the square, almost. I'm gonna record a little further down, so. Hello. <laughs> One of these ornaments is not like the other. Can you spot which one? No. And then there's me. Can you see me in the reflection? Hello. Probably can't. Okay, we're almost at the square. It's down here. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, here's the square. There's the cross in the sky again. There's two crosses. There's one there, and then one more angle to the left. What the fuck? Am I really that crossed out? Have I done something bad? Maybe I have. The light is fucking everything up, but the sun is setting like in a few minutes behind that building there. We have to turn around. Behind me, we have a little, we have a statue on this side that used to be like a gym for Pokemon Go players. And then we have like a little restaurant, a little grill. Usually at later night there sits a lot of people here, probably alcoholics and stuff. I don't know. I need to get judgmental, just saying, it's the truth. Alright, so I'm gonna sit here a little while, wait for the sun to go down a little further. So yeah, you have a different stuff here. There's like a painter store. I uh, don't really know what that is. Haven't seen that before. There's the pharmacy, the little hard icon, and then there's like your uh, liquor stores. The reason we have like a specific liquor store, like over there, the system blog it. All everywhere in Sweden, you can find the little green logo. That's where you get your alcohol. Because here we have like by law that um, normal convenience stores and like small stores are not allowed to sell liquor over a certain potency. So if you want some stronger potent stuff above like 4 or 3%, you need to go to one of those stores, because those are the ones with permission to sell it. Maybe. Did that make sense? Can you see the clock? It's not that late, it's pretty nice. So yeah. Um, this is so this is main square. I'm not gonna record too much here anyway. So let's keep moving down. I'm gonna show you the bar. We actually have a little local crazy bar. <laughs> We're heading down this way and you can see the bar here. It's actually it's actually the opposite side of that little museum, so it's the same type of building. So that building I just showed, that's the bar, and on the other side it's the movie museum, if you remember. The reason they do that is because it was like, like an old underground passage, but since the underground passage never was used and everyone just walked over the rail railroad anyway, they just renovated and built stuff in there. So I'll record when I'm closer. 
Okay, that's some real cool like wall art. They have a few more buildings where they do that around here. I think it's one further, further down, so I might actually go down there. But this little cute building here, that's the pub or the bar. Oh my god, they torn up the flag. So this is a Celtic bar from 2004, 2014. This little stone was raised. Sorry for the pinging noise. Okay, the pinging noise is when those bars, not the bar here, but the bars over the railroad, when they close, the reflex cover things, as I talked about before. When they close, that's when the train is arriving, so the train should be arriving any second now. I think it's got delayed, so it might be the one my mom is on, so I might go meet her. I've been recording for like an hour or two. Oh, there's the other wall painting, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's a cool car. That's a cool little color over there. There's a lot of old car folk, and it's really cool. It gets a cute little country style feeling to this town. It's pretty. A lot of people here drive their old cars to the winds, gets a little warmer. There's not, not that cool wall art. It's sadly being graffitied over once more. It looks like a little septic guy, sort of. Just the wrong color. All right, so there you have the bar from another perspective. So yeah, I recorded that zone, as you can see. Uh, the flag here is missing like the orange, but I'm so sorry, everyone is Irish. So here's the train. Woohoo! I'm gonna go and see because my mom might be on that train and I'm not gonna follow her. That was not intentional because her train got delayed as fuck. See, when I'm recording from this angle, you can see how that building here, the bar, trans like transcends over to that one. So there used to be like a little crossing where you went below and then went up into the other. But people didn't use them, so that's why that one became the film museum and the other one turned into the bar. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You see that little hole here in the recording? There used to be like a big golden egg standing here. It was a reference to one of the movies, those two guys I was talking about in the film museum. So yeah, you see those two nutheads over there? I'm not sure how much I talked about the museum. My mom used to work here in that little uh, ticket booth here, selling tickets and then having like small tour guides inside the little, the little, the little museum. So, yeah, and there's the bar. Like I said, it crosses over. It looks really good. So there used to be like a big golden egg here, but people ruined it and destroyed it. So. And so that's why it's just a big little hole there. But it used to belong to that film museum because in one of their movies it's about like retrieving a big giant golden egg. And behind me are those butt imprints right over there, as I tried before. But yeah, I'm gonna head home. My mom is over there. She's been coming from the train. <laughs> okay, so behind me is that school I was talking about before. We I used to summer job there one summer. Here it is from the main angle. Uh, we were inside this red building here. So, if I'm not mistaken, we were in the classrooms, just in here behind the red windows on the other side of the building, and like right inside over here. Uh, this little metal, weird looking copper door here, that's the entrance to their, like, their sports hall, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's a nice little school, and I've been here a lot of times. Oh, up there, behind those small windows, is a really cool attic. It's a really cool like school attic, with a lot of old maps and stuff I used to like at the time I was there. The moon there is real pretty. Too bad my camera is not good enough, but that's real nice. So yeah, I'm heading to the bus. I'm going to Helsingborg. I'm going back to my girlfriend soon, so... Okay, hello everyone, I'm now in Lund, gonna wait for my train, it's gonna come on track number 6, the track behind where that blue train is leaving. <laughs> okay, it's gonna go over there, uh, yeah, I could use those yellow paranites, but the stupid thing is, those are kind of new built, so, but the train still ends like over here, so you see, there's a quite, a ba quite a way to go. So I don't know why they build them over, over there, I mean, there's, yeah, they're a nice passage, and I'm sure some people use them, but like the majority of people still use the old upper crossing right over there. 
and that's where I'm going. I'm just gonna go through the store and buy me something nice maybe to get home. Or maybe send my girlfriend something nice if there's time. Which there is, I have like 30 minutes to go. My train leaves at 26 on track 6, ironically. I love the 6s. 66. Six. So I'm gonna vlog a little, I'm gonna go to Uka a little picky, and we'll see you then. Bye bye. Wow, that's a real cool moon. Alright, we're going straight down on the moon. I apparently turned off my recording in the wrong way, so there's a little error. I hope it doesn't make everything crash. Okay, up here on the overcross I pointed up before. Heading to track 6, where my train will be leaving. I was standing down there behind that train before. Sorry for the iron thing in the way. I was standing right down there. There's even my bus. Alright, uh, no, not the double decker one. There. Somewhere around there. And here we go. The infamous track 6. I'm just kidding. Not curse or anything. Dun, dun. It's a pretty train station. I've been here way too much though. Uh, fun fact, this track I'm standing on right now, I uh, know, actually that track. Alright, so apart from that sound that annoys like the fuck out of me, uh, that train leaves on track 5. That's the fun fact, that's the track that I spent a lot of time on when I went to school. Because exactly the way I travel now, first the bus, and then change into a tra train here, is the exact route I had to go to school every day. When I, those weeks when I was in my mom's place. Since this is an evening train, there should be like tons of people pouring out of them. And I might be right, because they're already lining up inside. Sort of right, not as many as I expected, but still a bunch of people. 